Hey, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Hey, I'm Kelly Laffler from the Orlando, Florida area from Dr. Energy Saver. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, if high efficiency water heating. And water heating is important because it can account for up to 15% of your overall energy bill in your house. And actually more than that if you have more people in a smaller house. Uh, so here we're looking at an electric water heater. Correct. Yeah, we have an elect old electric water heater that they've tried to uh, make a little more efficient by putting in some, uh, <laughs> some wrap around yeah. it, as you can see. Right, so if I feel the top of this water heater, it's hot. I mean, right here, it's pretty hot to the touch. Yes, it is. And uh, so we have an electric element in there that's just consuming electricity here. And they do have it on a timer, but of course, you know, if you shut it off for six hours a day while you're at work, the, tank's just going to cool off then you got to heat it all back yep, up again. It takes a lot more electricity like you say just to heat that thing right back up. All right so an electric water heater could cost you as much as fifty dollars a month uh, just for the uh, water heating component on your electric bill and I can feel this pipe and wow it's really hot this is the hot water coming out mm -hmm. but then I feel this and it says cold right here there's the cold water coming in and man this pipe is hot. Come on, wow. Why is that? Uh, looks like what's happening is you're getting some radiant heat coming back up from the tank with this since these pipes aren't insulated and you're correct I mean that's just right. really really warm coming back through there. So thermal siphoning and we've got you know so we got a lot of heat and we look at this with the thermal imaging camera we see a lot of heat coming off this this water heater and uh, and also the sides of the tank now um, now here we are in Florida we're in a cooling climate which means most of the year we have our air conditioning running. Not that is our correct. Heat. So here we're adding heating load, yep. we're inefficiently uh, uh, and very expensively heating our water and then allowing that heat to escape back into the house environment, then how do we get rid of it? Uh, you have to run your air conditioner more, cool it back down. It <laughs> more just, electricity. That's right, it just runs right? all day. Electricity to heat the, heat the, the water inefficiently and we've got basically got radiant electric, electric heat coming off of that. And then we have uh, more electricity to get rid of it. It just doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. There's got to be a more efficient way. Yeah, there is. Is there? Yes, yeah. there is. Let's go take a look at it. All right. <laughs> All right, Kelly, here we are, and we're looking at the efficient alternative to that big old electric tank-style water heater. What's this? That's correct. What this is here, this is a uh, gas tankless hot water heater. All right. So um, what it's going to do is make hot water on demand. That's correct. When this unit only runs, uh, it only runs when you turn on the hot water. And then what will happen is, as the water flows through here, the gas it flows in and out, and it heats it up as it goes through. There's a bunch of burners inside here, and it exhausts the hot air out of here, and the water flows back through the house. You're only using it as your demand calls for it, so you're not spending a lot of extra money. So we don't have a tank of water that we're trying to keep hot all the time. That is correct. All right, and even if we had um, uh, a gas uh, tank-style water heater, uh, we heat up the water, it, it cools down again up through the flue, and we heat it over and over again even when we're not using it. But this, there's no tank at all. So that we're not correct. keeping uh, a reservoir of water hot. Right. Okay. And now we're in Florida here, mm -hmm. and we have this unit mounted outside. Now it's something that uh, we don't see uh, up north where I'm from. but. Uh, this, uh, this is the vent, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so the exhaust gases come right out of here. And because this is a high efficiency unit, the way the, the heat exchanger is designed, so the hot combustion gases go through this heat exchanger as the water goes through there. It, most of the heat from the combustion gases is transferred to the water. That is correct. So in fact, this is 90... It's about 90% efficient. 90%. Yes, so, sir only 10% of the heat from the combustion gases is gonna be lost to the outside, where a typical uh, gas water heater, tank style water heater that might be 15 years old, uh, will be maybe 65% efficient. So that means 35% of the heat that you paid for, mm -hmm. either in uh, gas or oil, is going out up the chimney. Right, you're just losing it straight out. All right. so. So this is uh, much more efficient, and uh, and we also don't have the risk that this tank, uh, well, there is no tank, but that a tank-style water heater would leak Correct. and flood your house. Yes, this would uh, all this would do is lose water to the outside, as you can see. You would not yeah, if you ruin any floors. You wouldn't ruin any, any walls. Nothing. Right now, I imagine down here in Florida, where they don't have basements, and the uh, tank-style water heaters are located. Mm -hmm 
in a utility room on the same level as the living space when one of those lets go. You're right, it just floods the whole house. Big flood, big, and uh, you know, carpets ruined, flooring ruined and all that. Yes, sir. Yeah, so no, no risk of that here, even if this was located inside because there is no tank. That is correct. All right, and, and now we also have a, a modulating uh, gas valve. So if we, there's a flow sensor in here, and if we're only using a little bit of hot water, it only have a little flame, make, make a little bit of water, right. hot water. That is what it does. You can take it in, it only will heat what you're using, uh, shuts off as soon as you're finished using it, and then it just comes back on whenever you turn the hot water back on. So you're, you're again, you're not using a tank, you're not gonna run out of hot water for showers, you're not gonna run out of hot water for doing dishes, uh, it's just going to continue to run as long as you are asking for hot water. So a, a tankless uh, water heater, even though it's smaller, will cost more than a tank style water heater, but it's worth it because if we spend a little bit more on the equipment when we buy it mm -hmm. over the life of this unit, which could be... You could run 15, 20 years. So over 15 or 20 years, we're going to use a lot less gas running through here and it'll make that extra investment in equipment initially mm -hmm. seem well worth it because we're going to save many times that. Yes, you will. Beautiful. All right, Kelly. Well, uh, looks like we need to go equip the world with uh, tankless water heaters. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right.